What's up everyone? This is Adrian from Tribe 3 Productions and we're here at Scary Perry's Halloween store. And let me tell you folks, we are surrounded by some great great artists. And as you know, we are here with Evil Engine. Just yeah. Yeah. Tony! Tony! Yeah. That's Tony. Uh, that's uh that's Tony Perry. Tony Scary Perry. <laughs> well there you got it folks. Join us next year. We'll be back. <laughs> well, first of all, nice to uh, for you uh, to join us today. Thanks for having us. And you're crazy, right? Yes, that's me. And Colin. Yep. And Mike Skull. Jamie. Jamie, wow, I gotta tell you guys, you guys really put up a great show back there. And it's like it, it brought me flashbacks when I saw you guys at Days of the Dead two years ago. Oh. And I was like, what kind of music do they play? Because I'm not used to that type of music. And when I heard it, I'm like, whoa, okay, I should be open up to this, you know? But overall, I got to say, you guys caught my attention since day one, and I, you guys kick ass. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. It's When you hear people that don't owe you that kind of praise feel that way about your band, it's yeah. like that's the whole reason that we do it. You know, you're not my mom. You're not my best friend. You're yeah. someone that doesn't owe me anything, and you really like our band. So that's really awesome. So let's let's go down the line real quick, just so everyone can know who uh, who they are and Evil and just all about. So we'll start with Colin, right? Yep. Tell us more about yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm Colin. I play drums in Evil Engine, and um, it's been great to kind of get back to punk rock. It's what I grew up listening to. Um, so yeah, it's been really cool. How long have you been with the group now? Uh, what, about three years, I think, give or take. Yeah. Right. About so that. yeah, I'm the version 0.5 drummer I think for the band so. <laughs> and Chrissy what about you um you know I, I'm Chrissy I am the voice box and the soapbox in Evil Engine and yeah. I was there sort of at the band's inception um I've been in the band for what three and a half almost four years now yeah, three years. we'll call it three yeah oh because you don't you don't think it existed before Jamie showed up so okay so we'll call it three <laughs> we'll call it three but yeah I, I did metal for years and years and this is the first punk rock band that I've been in and it's so so much more fun. Sorry, guys. Awesome. And here's the guy. Here's the guy with the mohawk. This is the one that we really caught our attention is Mike. So. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of hidden today under <laughs> <laughs> Halloween. Um, yeah, I'm Mike. I uh, I kind of like got everybody together. Like it's like uh, Chrissy got Colin. I got Jamie in the band, and uh, uh, we've been a band for about three years. Um, then I've been playing punk rock for almost 17 years, and yeah, that's and they took it off of me, right? Yeah, pretty much. And like now I'm in like the best band I've ever been in so it's pretty oh, awesome. Wow. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta ask you, how tall are you, bro? I'm six four. <laughs> six four? Wow. <laughs> so tell me more about yourself, man. Um, yeah, get, yeah, get in there, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm Jamie. I play guitar. I've been friends with Mike for a couple decades now, and uh, I also have a metal background, but uh, heavily influenced by punk as well. Happy to be playing it. Nice. Lots of energy, lots of fun. Uh, I've been in the band since 2016, mm -hmm. but. I, I've been told that that's when the band really started, so I don't know. I can't. I, I want to say I haven't been here since the beginning, but that's. We were kind Mike of, refuses to. Mike refuses to. No, we were kind of fucking around, you know, the guys before, and like then Jamie came in and made it serious. Yeah, so yeah, we're good. We're serious without Jamie. Is what he's saying. So it's a garage band until. So who came out with the name Evil Engine? This one. Yep. <laughs> so tell me, how did you get the name? Okay, so it's a metaphor for the United States. The United States is the evil engine that powers the rest of the world. Okay. And uh, there's uh, four cylinders of the evil engine. It's a it's a four cylinder. <laughs> nice. So, uh, oh no, it's a uh, it's a uh, political corruption. Okay. Uh, the religious Reich. Okay. Uh, distorted media and uh, just uh, just just co just corporate greed. You know wow. what I mean? Like that's a, yeah. Wow. And like it's like all four of those things like like are what make up the evil engine. So that's a that's a Amazing. It's like it, it all comes down to that. It's like we think alike, bro. I'm telling you, it's like politics and religions, all that stuff. But it's and great. We're the mechanics here to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw. I went online a couple of week uh, days ago or so, and I saw your fundraising video. I gotta say, for those of you that haven't seen it, go to this link right here, and you'll definitely check it out. And tell us more about that video. Well, we ran a Kickstarter uh, to fund our new EP that's coming out on November 17th, actually. Right. We're releasing it on No Affiliation Records. Super, super excited about that. Um, and yeah, we ran a Kickstarter to raise money to be able to pay for the production costs and whatever. And we put together this video that we just kind of wanted it to look like 
a really cartoony call to arms yeah. kind of thing, you know, where it was we were we were all kind of getting together and going like, okay, like you know, it starts with Colin listening to music and yep. he finds a secret message in our old EP and it's like, oh, music of today is crap. We gotta do something about it. And then we all calls all of us and we all kind of get together and you know, it was just meant to be this really silly cartoony thing and I think it turned out pretty good. It turned out it turned out really great. It was it cold that day? You were up there in a treehouse and wearing just those shorts. Oh yes, it, it was very cold, but I'm pretty used to being naked, so. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, for you gotta go see that video again. Go to this link real real quick and, ch and check it out. It's really well made. Thank you. And um, and also um, tell us, are you, what's your next project? And so, what are you work guys working on? Is that top secret? Um, no, not really. It's like, like we're just uh, actually like us three live together, so it's like like there's a lot of writing going on right oh, now. So okay. like it's like like that was like a new thing like since August. So. Oh, wait a minute. So it's like three's company. I'm a knock on a door. but just yeah. the other way around you know two guys and a girl <laughs> yeah exactly yeah so like it's like like us three live in yeah. the, and then Colin yeah <laughs> <laughs> well who, who's Jack though who's Jack who's, who's Jack Colin's our Chicago Chrissy answer. Chrissy's Jack right here we can actually, even though one of the characters on Three's Company was named Chrissy and that was Suzanne Summers, but oh, <laughs> this is, we're, we're too deep now I can't I can't <laughs> so uh, what's the uh, so that's uh, expect more mid year or so or? yeah actually like it's like uh, the next album is going to be very Jamie dominant because um like he's been writing a lot of stuff so like yeah it's well yeah dude, like you have you have three songs on this new album so yeah but uh no it's it's gonna be like it's gonna be just Badass. Faster, harder, heavier. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. gonna be, yeah. It's just, it's like, nice. it's like, it's slowly rolling, and like, like he's got a lot of influence in the band now because there's a lot of stuff that was written before him, okay. and uh, yeah. So like, it's like now that like he's influencing more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, there's Try. our producer over what? there. <laughs> Dan, come here. He's like, no, he's coming. Uh oh, here he comes. There he goes. Come <laughs> to join us real quick. This is Dan, and you're from Idiot. Uh, Idiot Fingers Fingers. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Hello. It, well, any special shout outs you want to get out to the people out there? Whoever messed up my stomach. <laughs> Who did this to him? I, I, don't, I don't know. No, I'm all good. <laughs> yeah. So uh, tell us how you work with Evil Engine. Or uh, I produced them and recorded them at my studio, the Bomb Shelter, and uh, it's been fun. Sorry, don't mean to block you guys. Uh, yeah, this is twice now, right? Yeah. Twice. You can't get rid of us. No, which I don't want to. They're they're awesome. So it's it's great to work with bands that are easy to work with and fun and makes my job fun. Absolutely. So, sure. yeah. so what's your next? Appearances coming up. Um, actually, our album release show is November 17th at Epic Deli in McHenry, Illinois, um, and we'll be finally releasing EP number two. And uh, yeah, that's actually our last. No, nope, I'm lying. We have one more show after that okay. for the year. Uh, we're playing well, December two in December, I think. December 21st at Brower House. Oh yeah. Something else. That's news to me. I don't know. I gotta look at Google Calendar. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> Colin's gonna get to the bottom of this for us. A little longer than a few minutes later. Music stop in Harvard, Illinois. Well, son of a bitch, we're playing a cool <laughs> music that. stop in Harvard on December 15th. Well, there you go, folks. And I knew that the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Yep, totally knew that. We, yep. can, we can edit that part, right? Yeah, no, so that's, yeah, we got three shows left for the year. November 17th at Epic Deli, which is going to be our CD release. And then we have December 15th at Cool Music Stop in Harvard, Illinois, and December 21st at Brower House. And then we're taking the rest of the year off, the remaining eight days or whatever, nine days. And uh, we're going to come out swinging in 2019. We're hoping to tour more. We're hoping to get in front of as many new faces as possible. And hopefully the record label will be able to help with that, too. So. All right. So, Connor, what, what's, what, Colin, I'm like, yeah, Colin. Connor, Connor. Yeah, it sounds kind. Actually, our old drummer. So, what, what would you give out a, a special or a message out there to the people that are in advance that want to start up, or what, what advice do you have for them? Follow your dream, beefcake. I don't know. Uh, I'm the wrong person to ask that That's question. That's perfect. <laughs> Follow beef your dream, beefcake. Is that the Cartman line? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah. Uh, I yeah. No. I, you know, don't make music for other people. Make it for yourself, and you know, stay true to what you want to do. So, what's your social media? That, uh, and the people out there can follow you at. Actually, this is a really good question for Christy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We have a Facebook, we have a Twitter, we have um, an Instagram. Mike runs the Twitter, so if he says anything questionable, we'll be mad at him. 
Uh, the Twitter is evil underscore engine, and our Instagram is just evil engine official. Okay. And the Facebook, I think, is just facebook.com slash evil engine. Evil engine official. Well, yeah. Mike knows. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We do have a SoundCloud, don't we? Yeah. yeah, we have all kinds of crap. We're on everything. And you can get us on iTunes and all that, like all the like normal platforms. So, so yeah. we, we hope to see you in more videos and wearing shorts again. Oh. That was an epic scene right there. <laughs> that was a you know what the people want, I'll give them what they want. You heard it, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Evil Lynch and check them out on the media outlets and stuff. You definitely want to check out the performances. And and we're up next here at Days of the Dead. That's our Tribe 3 Productions. We'll be followed with our host, uh, Gia, uh, along with uh, Matt, who is our the main photographer for Tribe 3 Productions. And of course, we have Chuck Popov, Freddy Krueger impersonator, who's going to be joining us again at Days of the Dead. So check us out. November 17, 18, 19, I believe. Yep. The week before Thanksgiving. And we hope to see you guys very soon. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Let's try three over and out.